Hi, and welcome to the Checkpoint Compliance Software Blade demonstration series. The Compliance Software Blade is ideal for security and network managers that are interested in security regulations and standards. Today we will show you how the Compliance Software Blade can help you to review and report on your regulatory compliance status. The Compliance Software Blade has a library of security best practices, and it compares your management, gateways, and software blades against Checkpoint's recommended security settings. All best practices are mapped to the major security regulations and standards. As a result, you can review your compliance status and create detailed regulatory reports. The Compliance Software Blade includes 18 security regulations broken down into their individual requirements. All of these requirements are compared to our security best practices and we map the relationships between them using Checkpoint's advanced mapping methodology. As we will see, this mapping allows us to create regulatory reports that are based on the status of the security best practices. Let's see the Compliance Software Blade in action. From the overview screen, in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the Regulatory Compliance widget. This widget enables users to monitor the status of relevant regulations in a single view. For each regulation, you can see how many requirements the Compliance Software Blade covers and its compliance status. Note that the compliance status relates to the security best practices that have been mapped to each of the specific regulatory requirements. In order to improve regulatory compliance, you can go to the relevant security best practices and fix them as needed. If you click on the All Regulations link, you will see all the currently supported regulations. New regulations are constantly being added, and if needed, you can also submit a request to the compliance team to add a specific regulation. For the full list of supported regulations, please visit our website or take a look at the product documentation. If there are regulations that are not relevant for your organization, you can deactivate them by selecting Settings from the menu on the left and unchecking the regulation you wish to remove. This will automatically remove it from the view in your widget. Let's take a closer look at PCI DSS and its requirements. To access the PCI requirements, you can either click on PCI DSS under Regulatory Requirements from the menu on the left, or you can reach the same information by clicking on PCI DSS in the Regulatory Compliance widget. The regulation window is divided into two panes. In the top pane, you can see a list of the PCI requirements as well as each one's compliance status. Each requirement contains the original PCI reference included as part of the text in the name. You can search for specific requirements by entering text into the search field. You can also group the requirements by status. Note that the ID displayed in the grid is a checkpoint assigned ID number. The bottom part of the screen shows the mapped security best practices. On the left, you can see the regulatory requirement text, which includes the original regulation reference. On the right, you can see the list of security best practices mapped to the selected regulatory requirement. You can see the name of each best practice, the relevant blade, and its security status. The regulatory requirement receives a compliance status according to the aggregated status of the mapped security best practices. In our example, only 107 of the 206 mapped security best practices are secure, so in order to improve the compliance status of the requirement, you will need to fix the 99 non-secure checks. Since each security best practice is mapped to more than one regulation, Fixing a single security best practice will improve your compliance status across many regulations and standards. The Checkpoint Compliance Software Blade also provides you with predefined reports that may be used as a reference for audit. Let's click on the Generate Report button on the top of the page. Here we can see that the score of all the PCI requirements when brought together yields an overall PCI DSS compliance level of 74%. Below the compliance score is a short description of the PCI regulation. We can also see number of action items, security best practices broken down by security status, regulatory requirements broken down by compliance status, 
and compliance status by blade. In the next section of the report, you will find a regulatory requirement summary, which goes through requirement by requirement showing the individual compliance status. In the final section of the report, you can see each individual regulatory requirement, its status, and the list of MAP security best practices together with their security status. This is an important report for regulators that highlights to them what is being checked. The report can be converted to PDF or HTML. It can also be sent by email or printed at your convenience. As you have seen, the Regulatory Compliance widget enables you to easily review and monitor your compliance status in real time and to generate detailed compliance reports. That's all for now. Thanks for joining Checkpoint today for the Regulatory Requirements demonstration. Stay tuned for additional Compliance Software Blade demonstrations.